गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट पर्ल्स ऑफ मैक्रोर सर्जरी अ वीडियो बेस्ड प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ वट इज द एम आई वी एस सर्जरी हैज इम्प्रूव द लॉट एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी गॉज टू ट्वेंटी थ्री गॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव गॉज एंड नाउ वी हैव कम इन टू द एरा ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन गॉज ट्वेंटी सेवन गॉज सर्जरी इज आइडियली सुटेड फॉर मैक्रोर सर्जरी एज देर इज less manipulations in the peripheral part because 27 gauge instruments are little bit fragile and we cannot manipulate the globe as vigorously as it is possible in 25 gauge and 23 gauge study instruments but anyway uh, we have to make working working port little apart so that it uh, uh, helps us in manipulating the globe without much strength Uh, after uh, just uh, inducing pvd and doing vitrectomy core vitrectomy removal of peripheral residual wet areas we can stain the internal limiting membrane and we can just start peeling with a pinch and peel technique 27 gauze forceps are available which are very good and the uh, that tip of the forcep are very uh, suited to grasp the ilm properly so we can lift the ilm at one place by pinch and peel and then we can continue our peeling and we can extend the peeling all around up to the arcade uh, so that uh, we get a good closure and all small small macular hole can easily be closed by just doing a vitrectomy proper and ilm peeling of course large macular hole and chronic macular hole needs a special technique of doing inverted ilm flap technique so uh, Uh, another case of removing ilm in case of a chronic branch vein occlusion the patient received multiple intravitreal injections and a sector laser prp also for neovascularization there were lot of hard exit around the macula as well in these cases the ilm and erm are very uh, fragile and we will get patchy peeling we cannot get continuous capsular excess kind of peeling and we may need to stain again and again to improve the visualization after removing a part of ilm if we are not getting the age or we are not comfortable in seeing the contrast of the peeled and unpeeled area then we can go again and stain we can do double staining with trepan blue and brilliant blue as well or uh, if this we can use icg as well so um, by doing that ilm can be removed in such cases this is again a case of idiopathic epiretinal membrane such cases are not very uh, difficult to peel because once we get uh, an is of uh, that uh, erm uh, generally it comes in a sheet and so that we can peel but many a times uh, tough membranes definitely need multiple patchy peeling and then we can or if we get uh, an is of ilm sometime it can come along with ilm also so we can remove ilm and erm in one go so these cases also fare better if we go with a micro uh, incision vitrectomy system uh, this case uh, yeah uh, uh, this this is again a case of i think this is a, just a simple macular hole this is little bit large macular hole so we decided to do inverted ilm uh, flap technique so doing inverted ilm flap technique there are many techniques available in which uh, some people do uh, cabbage technique like peeling all around and leaving a small patches of ilm and then putting inside the hole uh, we generally prefer that we peel all around leave a small a uh, tag of ilm in the temporal part and do not try to push that tag inside the hole just do fluid air exchange with a wave of fluid air exchange being done at at the optic nerve head that flap temporal flap comes and covers the ilm uh, covers the macular hole and this gives way excellent result even with larger holes we have closed with just fluid air exchange and air no gases or at least uh, just with sf6 we very rarely use c3 effect and this just temporal only i have inverted ilm flap technique works very very excellently in, and visual recovery is also a little bit better as compared to just pulling the ilm all around and stuffing it inside the uh, macular hole uh, this is yeah uh, this is another case of oh th this is a failed uh, retinal detachment surgery that uh, vitrectomy was done for retinal detachment and th there was a re detachment so there were membranes over the macula also a thin pvr membrane so we decided to just put pfcl stain the ilm and remove all the uh, proliferative tissue along with the internal limiting membrane and then uh, drain through another retinotomy and just put uh, silicon oil 
and we generally get good outcome as removing ILM over a large area uh, gives relative, relatively relaxing retinotomy kind of effect in these uh, failed retinal detachment cases. Uh, this, this was a failed macular hole surgery operated elsewhere and the patient came for a second surgery and since vitrectomy was complete at the earlier setup, so we just stained the ILM and we found that there were a lot of uh, ILM tissues left and that was the prob probable cause of uh, non-closure of the hole but that helped us in doing this surgery because suppose the ILM is completely removed and then the hole doesn't close then it becomes a little bit challenging case we have to retrieve ILM from somewhere else and we can do free flap or we can do retinal autograft or amniotic membrane graft or capsular graft whatever but in this case there were a lot of ILM left in and around the hole so we just removed all those ILM carefully and uh, we took just a free flap put over the hole and then we covered that free flap with the uh, that adjoining ILM which were present around the uh, macular hole edges and that gave excellent outcome the patient had a in earlier surgery the patient received C3 effect but still the hole clo didn't close because the ILM was not properly removed we did a re-surgery and we just give SF6 and the hole was closed within a week uh, this is another case of uh, macular hole surgery, not macular hole, this is a subretinal uh, PFCL. This was a foreign body with giant retinal tear operated by myself and uh, view was poor and PFCL went behind and the retina was absolutely attached but we found that the fovea is having a large bubble of PFCL in the subretinal space. So we took 39 gauge cannula uh, topped over 25 gauge uh, system and we just pierced the uh, retina uh, adjacent to fovea and uh, we took out uh, that uh, that PFCL bubble carefully and uh, we corrected this situation by doing just this removal of subfovial PFCL. Uh, this is another case of failed retinal detachment surgery. There are epiretinal membrane over the retina and subretinal uh, fibrous band developed behind the retina. It was a traumatic retinal detachment which, are, which was operated but unfortunately didn't close and there were a lot of proliferative changes over and behind the retina. So just did a retinotomy to remove the subretinal band. Uh, it was just grasped with a, a forcep and we took out that uh, subretinal membrane and then put PFCL and stain the ILM and ERM over the macula and remove those ILM and ERM. So that way uh, we took care of these proliferative tissues behind the retina as well as over the retina and that gave excellent outcome uh, putting uh, the closing the retina and putting silicon oil led to uh, attached retina. So this these were the some of the cases in which how we can uh, tackle the macular pathologies uh, in modern era of microvitrectomy system and by that way we, we can get uh, good outcome in modern day surgical system. Thank you so much for the patience.